Honor Scholar program is really designed toward digging into primary literature material. It doesn't really stop with the classroom. And you'll find yourself working late at night on reading through Plato's Republic and trying to figure out how it relates to American education, for instance. And two other Honor Scholars are online and you start AIMing about how this text works and, and what, what the deal is, what's going on, why it's important. And all of a sudden you'll find yourself having this really cool conversation at 2 in the morning. I like the idea of discussion-based classes. I wanted to be surrounded with bright people who are going to push me farther. And I like the idea of taking classes that were kind of outside of the realm of what I'd be taking otherwise in college. So the way the Honor Scholar program is designed is the first year you enter into a first year seminar, uh, just like every other DePaul student, your first year seminar will be an Honor Scholar class. Then for second semester you have a choice of three that you know what the topic is. So you can pick which one you're most interested in studying or which one fits into your schedule the best. Then during your sophomore and junior year, you have to take three upper level courses that are in the sciences, the humanities, and the social sciences. So, which means you have one semester off to travel abroad. And your senior year is dedicated solely to your thesis. And so that's sort of the progression as you move from the general first year seminars into uh, specific area seminars your sophomore and junior year, and then your senior year you spend focusing just on the one idea that you want to explore and that you want to turn into your, your final thesis. ITAP really enables students to not only gain sort of the well-rounded knowledge that a liberal arts education provides for you, but sort of the next generation of a liberal arts education. ITAP maintains a very broad idea of what technology is. It's not just about computer science. When you come in as a freshman, you're an apprentice in the ITAP program. And basically what you have is you get to go through four six-week rotations that sort of give you uh, a broad view of all the different technologies that are available and sort of let you gain some insight into what you like and what you're good at in technology. So then after your uh, apprenticeship's end, there's about 50 different internships available on campus and they range from you know every sort of technology to more business related, hardcore technology, graphic design, all those kind of things. And you can pick which suits you the best. Sophomore year, you're an associate in the program, so you have started your internship, so now you're not expected to just be learning how to do stuff, you're expected to apply the skills you've been learning. ITAP is a very career-oriented program, so it really gives you skills that will benefit you when you are looking for an internship. I had the, the privilege of interning over at uh, Microsoft this past summer in, in Seattle, Washington, and. 90% of my talk time and 90% of the things that I wrote about in applying for that job and then eventually getting it were all ITAP related. We're all directly impacted by my ITAP projects and my ITAP experiences. The best thing about ITAP overall is that you're going to get paid to learn skills that are going to differentiate you in the job market. The Management Fellows Program is a business-focused honors program that combines a core curriculum in economics and management with a lecture series of national business leaders, five lectures in the fall and four lectures in the spring, with a semester-long internship. When you arrive on campus, you're a first year at DePauw, you of course have the big kickoff event, um, so you kind of meet the rest of the class of Management Fellows and who you'll be spending class time with uh, throughout your four years at DePauw both fall and spring semester, the McDermott Center has lectures come in. The speaker series brings really, truly successful people to campus. You get to meet a lot of really interesting people. You get to hear a lot about what they've done and what has made them successful. Sophomore year is when you start the internship search. You will start looking for jobs. You'll start talking to alumni. You'll start doing resume workshops and interview skills workshops and learning what all the process is that you have to go through to get your internship. There's a firm understanding that the management fellow intern will be treated as um, kind of at least an entry level employee. I did my internship with a venture capital firm in Indianapolis, Indiana called Inception. It was a small firm. I was the fourth person in the firm. 
really got to see a lot of what it takes to start a small company and make it successful. Then your senior year is kind of the, the cap of the Management Fellows Program after you have the experience um, kind of in your belt. You kind of take on more of the resource role in the program. The Management Fellows Program has really helped me a lot in that it's given me some tangible work experience, something outside the classroom, something real world that I can take into a job interview and say, not only did I get a good grade in my accounting class, but I did financial statement and analysis and really have results to show from that. The Media Falls program is a special honors program here at DePaul that allows students interested in the media to really explore it in depth throughout their four years here. By being in the Media Fellows Program, you're involved with a certain medium on campus like I've chosen for most of my career to be involved in the newspaper. In your first year in the Media Fellows Program, you'll take a seminar both semesters and learn a lot about both what the media means for our culture and our society. During the second year, we have brown bag lunches a couple times a month and we have speakers come and talk to us as a group. What's really helpful about bringing the speakers in is you gain like access to what people do every day in their jobs and also just how they got to those jobs and you can talk to them and ask them questions and it's really good real world exposure. Junior year you get to do an internship for a full semester and with that internship you pretty much get to do whatever you want to do within the media and it's really exciting to think about all of your options and you get to decide what you want to do and that's a really great feeling. And then your senior year you take a capstone seminar which kind of sums up everything you've learned. You get together one last time and talk about the issues that you talked about all those four years and all the experiences that you've had through your internship and the seminars and the speakers that you've heard. You also get to do a final project which kind of allows you to use your creativity in what you like to do and create a project that will be your final statement as a media fellow at DePaul. Even if you're not going to go into journalism or broadcast or radio after graduation, um, I still think what you gain from this program is really helpful. It's giving me the opportunity to live out my dream. and I was uh, looking at DePaul, I was attracted to this program because it really gave you the opportunity to work one-on-one um, -on -one with professors to do research. Your first year here at DePaul, you start off the program doing two semester-long um, first-year seminars and you will do research in two different um, areas of science with professors and with a group of other SRF students. After that, you will do a summer here on campus with a professor. The summer research is great because it's not like being in a classroom. You get to work in close proximity with the professor as well as gain important experience in science research. Your sophomore year, you present your findings from your research of the summer of your freshman year. Your junior year, you were provided an off-campus internship. During my semester off-campus, I went to Boston, Massachusetts to work I'm in a laboratory at uh, Massachusetts General Hospital in association with Harvard Med School. Your senior year, you have a seminar in which you discuss various important topics that are career related. The Senior Capstone Seminar is a time when your class, um, your SRF class, gets to come back together and you meet once a week just to discuss science research today, current topics in research, so you get to hear about um, a variety of experiences in a lot of different fields of science um, beyond just what your particular area of study is.